Hey, what's up everyone? This is Vegetarian Zombie, and I want to welcome you back to my beginning C Sharp with Unity video tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be covering the while do while loops. But before we do that, let's talk about the last assignment. In the last assignment, I want you to take the code that you write to go through an array of names and append them into one string and convert that from the for loop to the for each loop. So let's do that now. Okay, here we have model develop open. And here we have the for loop that goes through all the names and then appends them into the existing names. So we're going to do this using the for each loop instead of the for loop instead. So we're going to we're going to start by typing for each and then we're going to in the parenthesis create a variable to hold each string name in the name. So we'll just call this name. So we're doing string name in and we'll just do names like that. Just like that. That's all you have to do. Very simple. And now it's just a matter of doing existing names plus equal name, and then we'll add the space. That way the names aren't all crunched together. Okay, we'll delete this here, this code here. And what we'll do is to keep the logs clean, I'm going to select this code and I'm going to hit command forward slash. That should be command or control forward slash if you're on a PC. I'm on a Mac if you're curious. All right, we're going to save this and we're going to switch back to Unity, which is here. And I'm going to stop the program and we'll start it back up again. And you can see here, I'm going to switch to my hierarchy tab. This is another way we can select the cube. And you can see here in our inspector, we have our names, Fred, Mike, and Sam. Now let's disable this cube by unchecking this checkbox. And bam, existing names, Fred, Mike, and Sam. And this time, instead of using the for loop, we're using the for each loop. Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about while and do while loops. And this is actually a pretty quick one because these two loops are very similar and they do pretty much what we've seen in the previous loops. And there's just some slight differences. The first one we'll talk about is the while loop. What is a while loop? A while loop will only loop per a condition is true. And the way you set this up is you use the keyword while, and then in parentheses, you put the expression. So you can see here, all that the while does is check to see if an expression is true. And it's up to you to determine when that is false within the body of the loop. If you don't do that, then your loop will be infinite. Another way you can do this is to break the while loop yourself. And a lot of times you'll see this when there's game loops or there's some loop that you want the loop to run indefinitely. And what happens is people will tend to do while and in parentheses put true, meaning this loop is going to iterate forever. And it's on to the actual programmer to figure out when that break is going to happen. And later in, just say like during this, this while loop, you come up with a fail game state. Let's just say each time the player gets hit, then we're going to remove a life. Well, later we can check if lives are equal to zero, then break. And this will break the while loop. And that's basically how game loops work. You have the game loop, you have the game loop run indefinitely until you find a condition that you will break it with. The next type of loop we have is the do while loop. And the do while loop is very similar to the while loop. We have the do statement, and then we have our open brace and closing brace, and all our code is going within those braces. Now, after the closing brace, you're going to put while, and then you'll have your condition. And this, you can see, is somewhat similar to the while loop, but you'll notice that the while loop will first evaluate the condition before entering the loop, while the do while loop will first run that first iteration of the loop and then evaluate the condition. There are certain times when you'll use the do while loop over other loops, but in my programming career, I can count the times I've used a do while loop probably on my hand. I don't use it much. Generally speaking, it's only when you want the first iteration of the loop to run and then you want to exit out of it. So that's the big difference between the while loop and the do while loop. Okay, let's see a while loop in action. I'm going to open up Mono Develop now, and we're going to take our existing code here, and we're going to convert it to use the while loop. So I'll remove that comments, and I'll hit Command forward slash to comment this out. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put while, and we're going to have an increment, and we're going to check to see if the while the increment is greater 
or equal to the score's length. Once that is the case, then what's going to happen is we're going to break out of it. And then what we can do is do something like this. We can put our average equals average, like so. And then we'll put in our increment. And what we'll do is we'll put average equals, we'll make this plus equals average plus the increment, like so. And of course, being that we're managing our incrementer, I'm just going to increase it like so. And that will do the same thing. Let's build and run this. I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to switch over to Unity here. And we'll, we have a script error here. And what this is saying, let's see. Oh, here, what I was accessing this as I was accessing the average as an array when I should have been using scores. Okay, let's switch back. And we'll clear this, and we'll run this again. And let's select our cube in the hierarchy, and we'll simply deselect the cube. And we have an average is zero, and the loop has repeated zero times. So we've obviously run into some problems. Let's fix this code up. Actually, I messed that up. What we should do is less than or equal than the scores dot length. This was checking to see if it was greater than, and with increment being zero and it wasn't greater than scores dot length, we immediately bypassed this loop. All right, let's see this again. We're gonna clear this out. We'll restart. You don't necessarily have to stop, start and stop your game. Unity will pick up your changes and we'll deselect the cube and we're getting an index out of range error. And instead of being equal, let's just make it less than. What's going on is it's going up to three because we're doing zero less than, less than and equal to three because the scores, there are three scores there. And when it hits that third one, it's trying to get the, the third index, which is actually the fourth element of this array. And that's why it's causing it to fail. So we'll stop this, and we'll start it up again, and we will deselect the cube, and now we have the average is 20. And that's working with the while loop. And again, if we want to turn this to be a do while loop, we could do something like this. We simply change the arrangement of our code, and it, it looks very much like this. And now if we build and run, oops, we have some errors. Let's fix these. Yeah, let's put our semicolon here. Must not forget the semicolon. And now we'll run this, deselect our cube, and you'll see the same thing happens. And the loop is repeated four times. For the most part, you'll be working with the while loop, and you may occasionally work with the do while loop, but I would say the while loop is, uh, you'll be using it much more. All right, and for your current task, I want you to take these names that we've been working with in the last couple of videos, and I want you to convert this to using the while loop. Just basically work with what I used up here with the averages, and so that you can replicate the same result that you have been doing before. Well, that's the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to review everything that we covered in this section, and then I'll be outlining what the next section will be covering, which is, of course, object-oriented programming. All right, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. See you then.